Do you see things more from an, an osteopathic view or are you allopathic or are you omniopathic <laughs> or whatever it is? Are you both in? Yeah. So um, I tend to very much, and I think I mentioned this in the article, uh, we use a biopsychosocial approach. I was hoping you'd say that word. Exactly. That was a lead, it into, was a lead into it. biopsychosocial. And really just a biopsychosocial approach really just means that the way we view a patient is not just... Uh, biomechanical. We're not just looking at the structure, the anatomy, the tissues. We're looking at those other factors that influence a patient's experience of pain, which is going to be unique for every patient, which would be the, the social or the environmental factors and the psychological or the mental factors, right? So probably the best example of this is something like chronic pain. And we used to see this a lot of the times when I worked at the VA. Someone has um, chronic musculoskeletal pain that's non-diagnosed. Like, no, we don't know why. You just have a lot of pain. Well, this patient might have PTSD as a comorbidity, and they have a flashback, and the next day they're rating their, ten, their pain as a 10 out of 10, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing's changed physiologically at all. Right. They didn't fall. They didn't hurt themselves. They didn't tweak a muscle, but they experienced some sort of psychosocial stressor that increased their perceived level of pain. Mm -hmm. um, so when we approach a patient, we approach them kind of with that viewpoint that, yes, you were, you were referred to us because of your shoulder pain, and we know that there's something going on that there maybe there is an issue with your tissues, right, um, that we can fix. But maybe there's other aspects that are affecting that shoulder pain that we can address as well that will right. help you give a better and ultimately have a better quality of life when we're done with you.